Join us for content that informs, entertains and inspires. Subscribe now. Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, they decide to let... All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. By yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay?
the dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword, with no laws or morals, no gods and no fear, only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? spread thin, unfocused, like static and fog, lingering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was open too soon, but this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children. My instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! You be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? Charges, sir. I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in 
his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls. We're pregnant. Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Pillock, Kenmore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Oi! Jeez. Quiet! A shit detail as ever was. Oi! Quiet, you! Oi! You stop that! Good morning, Oi. Captain Kenway. What? I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry.
You there. I'm back here to face this like a man. You're there. such at Williamsburg under Governor. Governor. Get him from here! Stop the bastard! Help! Stop there!
Day. It's not about...
wind you've been discovered and brought here. Oh, is... Didn't hear what happened after them. Wow, it dies by Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we parted as friends. Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. Search every cell! Come on, that's it. You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. Thank <laughs> you.
What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I give it here. Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one. That is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy. Take it. I'll sweet little maggot. I'll cut you down. Slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! Just 
let me do this! Everything you do, I'll spy Edward! It's not spite that's driving me, Mary! It's courage! Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care! But damn you all! I can handle this! Out! Always tearing down you could be building things up, or building yourself up, if nothing else! Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plum duff. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then.
Time's out. Let's get moving.
Jesus, Eddie, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kenway. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom. Not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edward I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate.
That coward is hiding aboard his ship. Yanumuk Awoyetel Abishan. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd never be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. Edward. Everyone's gone, right there. Mary, Raccoon, Touch. The rest. I 
missed them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. That will curse me. I do. I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! It's our present course. Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary in Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs>